everyone, let's talk about putting in snaps in the garment. I swear by the snap setter, I don't even bother with another method. This will line your snaps up every single time and you won't be frustrated. So how do you use the snap setter? Well the snap setter has a top, middle, and a bottom. You can see that there, that's the top, middle, and bottom pieces. And then you've got your snap. So for as far as the snap part, the right side of your garment will have the colored section typically. And you'll either have an open prong ring or you'll have this closed prong ring. And these pieces will go with the socket part. Now on the underside of your garment, you'll have a silver open prong ring. And that will go with the stud as shown here. So let's first start with the colored part which will go on the right side of your garment. First you need to understand which side of the socket to put towards the prongs. This side here is the underneath of the socket. So see how this sort of looks like a little flower, like there's little petals here. And this is the side view of this. This would not go towards the prongs. But on the flip side, see how there's little teeth there? This side is going to go towards your prongs. And see, there's not really any petals or anything. It's just kind of smooth with the teeth on the bottom of it. That side's going to go towards your prongs. So when I use my snap center, I would use that on a finished garment. And I just push the prong side into wherever I want the snap to be in the garment. And then you're going to put that on the bottom piece of the snap center and put the middle piece on top of that, making sure that everything stays in line and kind of adjust it if it gets out of whack. Then, like I said, you'll put the pedal side facing up. So you don't want the petals touching the prongs. You want those little teeth to touch the prongs so that's what the little prongs are going to go into. So once you have that, then you'll put your top on the snap center and give her a couple whacks. And then I just like to check my snap just to make sure that it, all the prongs went into those little spaces. And this is a very thin piece of fabric so it might look like there's a little bit of a gap but there really isn't. All the teeth of those prongs are nicely into the underside of that socket. So you're going to kind of rinse and repeat to the other side but this time you're going to use that silver open prong ring and match that up with the stud. So you can put that on the middle piece, put the stud, obviously the stud part needs to be facing up and away, the top on and give her a couple whacks. Again, check it out just to make sure there's no gaps. If there are any gaps, just put back in your snap setter and give it another couple whacks and they'll go away. And so there you have it. There is your snap done by the snap setter. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the description box below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.